Today on My RC Life, we do some body painting with some spastic color changing paint and find out which body we are going to use on the Techno MT410. What's up everybody? Traxxas Mike from My RC Life. Okay, I guess it's time to get to the finishing stages of the Techno MT410. One of those is going to be painting up and stickering this Ford F250. Um, it's kind of cool because this is the exact style truck of my red plow truck. But this ain't getting painted red. Well, it's got some red in there. Gold, orange, purple red. <laughs> so we're going to try this stuff here out and uh, get her all painted up. Alright, something you want to do is you want to scratch up the inside of your body to give the paint a better chance of sticking. Uh, I have already done that. Now in the instructions it actually says to paint everything and then cut it after you painted it. But I always have a bad time doing that. Like my paint ends up messing up and stuff. So I think I'm actually going to trim it first. Let me know in the comments below. Do you trim yours first? Or do you paint it then trim it? How do you go about doing it? There we go. All right, got two of the fender wells out. Okay. One more to go. Here is the uh, Razorback, I would call it. Let's go ahead and get this cut out. Razor back to fit. Oh, looks like I need to chop out these little corners here. Does that fit a little better? Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, it fits pretty nice, I would say. Okay, I like it. Well, I did not buff this, so I'm going to go ahead and buff it just a little bit. Or not buff it, but scratch it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, use the isopropyl, clean up fingerprints and oils from the inside of the body and this razor back here. They say you can just soap and water it as well, but I know when uh, I paint real cars, um, we actually wipe it down with some type of denatured alcohol or something to make sure you get all the oils out of off from the surface of the car so that's why I tend to try to do the same thing I use some type of alcohol something that I know is going to strip the oil for sure okay so what I got here this is just a big roll of mask for taping off, masking off real cars. Let's put a piece of that down. Ouch, it just dropped on my toe. Oh, that big roll just dropped on my toe. Ouch. 
Okay, so you just put a bit of that down so I don't get my, my pit mat oversprayed. Open up my window. All right, so we are painting with this uh, gold, orange, purple, red. This is what my son wanted the truck to be painted with, so that's what we're going to do it with. All right. We'll put a thin layer in here. First couple, you need to start off real thin. Don't look like I have any runs. I can see the red in there. I slowed this clip down a lot so I could show you guys what to look for when you're starting a run or if the paint's too thick. See right there on that body line? Too thick. And you'll also see it on the other side of the uh, cab here. Bam. Too thick. All right, let this dry a bit and come back and give it another coat in a, in a few. Okay, here we are hitting next coat. stuff's really thin you gotta be careful there's a tiny small run right there I don't know if I can maybe wipe that out or not looks like I did I don't know how bad that's gonna look now that I did that though I see a little bit on this fender well I put a little bit of alcohol on here it looks like I rubbed that little run out I wonder if I can rub the run out of this I'm going to try it. Give it a shot. Yeah! Look at that. Rubbed it right out. So if you got any runs, looks like you can just take a little rubbing alcohol. Just lightly rub the run real quick. And takes it right out. And then I'm assuming a light reapply should uh, take care of filling that back in. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Should be able to start seeing the red on the camera here. Just a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely see. It ain't clear anymore. All right, I got the last couple coats on off camera. Now we're going to start with our color change backer.
Well, it's red. I'm hoping it'll really look a lot better once I peel this outer coat off. If you hold it up to the light like this, you can really see anywhere where you might be thin on your black backer. All right, we're going to let this dry a little bit, and then we will come back and uh, peel the coating off. All right. Here comes the big reveal. I love pulling the outer wrap off from an RC body. Of course, everybody does, you know. It's when it really looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, check that out. Don't look too bad. I can see some a bit of scratching. I think instead of using this to rough up the surface, I'm going to get some steel wool next time. I think that's what I should be using anyways. This is just what I had laying around. But yeah, it does look pretty good. You can see the color change, definitely. Definitely see that color change. Oh, man, check out that color change. Woo, boy. Oh, there we go. She's looking good now. <laughs> now for the real test. Wow, I wish I would have left some of that edge on there. Because look, it don't cover it all. Bummer. Basically, this body don't fit this truck perfectly. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of the stickers on there. Looking pretty good, I would say. F-350, just like what my truck is. Last night, I painted up this here body for the MT-410. As you guys have seen in the video. But, uh, I mean, it looks good. Another issue I had was... This fits the MT-410 as far as length goes. But down here, the, I'm, my finger's right on the bottom of the chassis right here. I can stick my finger right in there. It don't actually cover up the electronics. So what I was going to do is run this Dusty Motors cover. I installed the Dusty Motors cover, and that keeps some junk off of your uh, electronics or whatever. But um, I really did not like... I just hate that big gap at the bottom. It reminds me of a Traxxas Stampede. I got that big gap at the bottom. You can see right through. I can't stand that look. So then I went to this Jeep Super FC body. And 
once I chopped out the front and the rear so it could go down past the bumpers, that one just touches the chassis, so it kind of closes it off a bit. So I was like, you know, two thumbs up. Awesome, and I was gonna get the painting that. And this one's obviously a little bit wider too, cause I mean, the Ford truck body can fit right inside of it. So I was thinking, okay, that's what I'll do. I'll run that Jeep Super FC body. Okay, so this morning, I go to town and I come back and there was a delivery left by the mail lady and dun, 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 it's another Ford truck body. Now, like I said in the video early on, this is just like my Ford plow truck, same style as my Ford plow truck, except for my Ford plow truck is not an extended cab. It's just a regular cab pickup. Well, check this out. Regular cab pickup. And this thing is an extra wide bodied body. <laughs> so big that this one can actually fit inside of it. Look at that. That's a much wider and much taller. These, uh, these uh, like down by the rocker panels are the bottom half of the body. So by the time I get this one cut out, get the fender wells cut out, painted, it ought to be perfect for this. And look at how nice that big wide front end looks on this truck. I mean, don't that look so much more proportionate than that width? I mean, yeah, that looks kind of cool because it's really... You know, the tires stick out a lot, but if you look at the fender wells, like if I line the rear one up here, the front one's actually back too far, so you have to put it, you know, split the difference. So this one's ahead a little far, and this one's back a little far. It just kind of looks funky. But this one... There's the center of the tire, center of the fender well, center of the tire, center of the fender well. Works out perfectly. We're going to go ahead and paint this baby up tonight. Guess what I found? I didn't even have to buy any. Sitting over in that mess of a closet, I found this. There, looks like I got that buffed up pretty good. Get this window mask here. That's how to do it. You go like this. <laughs> and line it up, I guess. I don't know. Don't look too bad. Good enough for the girls I go out with. These ones are quite easy. Bam! Now I've painted the Max, the green, gold, and blue, or teal, green, teal, green, blue, whatever the color that was. Then I did this four body, this color, color changing paint. Orange, gold, red, purple, I think. Now I got this holographic color change paint. Make sure you're not leaving any lint. Alright, give that a chance to harden up. Coat 2 with the holographic color change paint. Don't look like 
I got any runs yet. That's a good thing. Coat three. I'm gonna put it in a little thick right there. Hope it don't run. Ooh, I can see all the pretty colors. I don't know if you guys can really see them, but I can. Coat number four. I don't think I got any runs. Okay, looks like no runs again. Oh, I can see the rainbow coming out in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, yeah. I can see it in the camera just a little bit. See this pillar? See that rainbow coming out in it? This is going to be a pretty truck. Coat number five, I do believe. No runs. Cool, this one's gonna come out really nice. Oh, it's getting a little thick right there and right there. Hope that don't run. That don't look to be a run. Maybe just a light orange peel. Whatever you do, don't wipe it off with something because it will look like crap. Oh, I'm really seeing that color change way more than the other um, paints I've used. This one is really starting to pop, even without the backer on it. This ought to look pretty nice. Okay, coat six. Okay, we'll hit her with the black after this. Pretty glittery stuff. I don't know how well it shows on the camera. All right, guys. Here we go. We got six coats of the um, holographic color change paint. And we're starting with our high gloss backer for the color change paint. As you can see, it's coming out awesome. As this dries, it starts to change color too as the black backer dries more. And then when you tear this coating off, obviously, you know, it uh, really starts to pop. All right, that's what it's looking like right now. Well, let's let her dry a bit, and we'll probably put on another coat, and then uh, take the outside coating off. Okay, going on our next coat of the high gloss back blacker for the color changing paint. I don't know how well we can tell by doing this. But when I do this, I can actually see... Okay, can you see right there in that back window? Right 
Well, you can see right there in about the middle of the screen, that line, that's where it needs a little bit more. And there's a few other spots maybe you can't see on the camera, but I can, that need just a titch more paint. That little white, little white dot in the center of the screen and some little speckles on the hood. That just needs a little bit more black backer. All right, hopefully that'll be the last coat of black. And then I'll be able to come in here and cut it and then uh, demask it. Right, we got uh, all the coats done. Now I'm going to start cutting out the wheel wells and stuff. Working on the last fender well here. Okay. And I want to cut just the bare minimum of this lip off. So I don't know how far this is going to extend down. I want it to cover the chassis. I don't want it looking like a Traxxas stampede where the body don't even come down to the chassis. It's got a gap like that. That looks silly in my opinion. Alright guys, it looks like it fits pretty good. Let's remove the film. I think that's my favorite out of the out of the uh, color changing paint, the holographic. Definitely my favorite. Boy, does that look sharp! I love it. All right, finishing up on some of the stickers here. whatever you want. All right, guys, I'm Traxxas Mike from my RC Life, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Leave a question, comment, or suggestion below.